Okay, I'm going to teach you how to use GitHub today. Anyone can learn. So you might be wondering, well, what the heck is GitHub and why do I need it? Well, it's a program for storing and hosting content in the cloud. Why would you want to do this? Because developers or computer programmers need a way to test out their projects. But it's even more powerful than that. GitHub is also collaborative, so developers can share their programs and allow others to critique, test, or simultaneously contribute to the program. It also keeps a list of all the changes made and who made them and when. I use it to host my e-learning SCORM files as part of my ePortfolio for clients. And I also use it to host my very basic HTML, CSS websites. In other words, GitHub is useful for non-coders too. If you're like me, you'll probably only use a few of the features. But before we get started, I want to share a few vocabulary words with you so you have a working understanding of the language used by GitHub. So first, let's clarify the difference between a project and a repository, which are basically the only two things you can create in GitHub. A project is simply a visual tool for organizing the changes that were made, who made them, and when. I don't ever use that feature. A repository is the name of the storage of all the files you will use to build your digital product. A repository is basically just a folder. Don't let the word repository freak you out like it did me. It just means, hey, the repository is the bookshelf where we're going to store your digital shit. The project is the whiteboard where I tell you how I shuffled shit around on your bookshelf. The readme file is informational. For example, a readme file of this video would be... It's made for my mind garden media for the purpose of educating people about hosting their free content for e-learning files. A readme file will also tell people what you did. I made a script first, I took screenshots, then I did a screencast demo, and finally I made the voiceover and edited my video. The next day I uploaded it to YouTube. So a readme file is just a record of the changes you made, and you don't have to use one. A master. That is the main thing. The real thing, the final thing that is displayed on the web. A branch is like an experimental copy of your master where you can go in and kind of fuck shit up. If you get it right and you like it, then you can merge it with the master if you want. It's kind of like taking a copy of that bookshelf and moving stuff around to see if you like it better. A pull request. This is a request to merge a branch or set of files with the master. It's like saying, hey, I got all these new books in and I arranged them and I really like it, so now I need them pulled over to the master bookshelf. Commit. Make the commitment or permanently save the changes. It's like the wedding between your project and the World Wide Web. Fetching just means sending information between two places, like from the desktop app to the web. So these are some words you're going to see, and the first time I saw them, it kind of freaked me out. So I just wanted to kind of give you an overview before we get going. You actually won't use most of those features. So first, you need to go to GitHub and create a username and account. Of course, if you're poor like me, you'll choose the free account. Then it will ask you if you want to start a project, and you'll say yes. So then you'll have to verify your account. So we'll be using both the desktop and web versions of GitHub. So now you'll go to the desktop.github.com and download the desktop version. Then go to your download folder and double click the file and choose to install it. Okay, so now you're ready. Before we move on, you need to have your SCORM file or your HTML files ready to go. I'm using Storyline 360, so I needed to publish my files first. I've heard that tracking using quizzing won't work, so I always choose when the learner has visited slides. Also, be sure you've chosen to publish as HTML5, and then go ahead and publish it. Do not zip the files. Once the files are ready, if you're using Storyline, you have to make a name change in one of the files. You need to change story.html to index.html. Usually this is already done for you, but Storyline is unique. Okay, now we're ready. The first thing you need to do is create a new repository. Your screen might look different than mine. That's okay. Go ahead and create new repository. Go ahead and choose a readme file and click create repository. 
What this does is creates a special folder on your computer with the name of whatever you named your repository. Let me show you. This right here is your main GitHub folder. It was created when you first installed the desktop app. Inside you can see it's created a folder for the repository that I created. And this is what it looks like. Now I need to copy my project into this folder. I saved my project in Articulate. I open it and you'll notice I did change my story file to index. Now I need to copy all these files and paste them in the GitHub folder. Okay, now back to the desktop app. Open up your repository and you can see that everything's here. Now I must give this a summary and then click commit to main. Next we're going to create another branch. This branch will be an exact copy of our main branch and it will be the one that we publish to the web. We'll name it gh-pages. Now we're ready to publish. Make sure you unclick Keep This Code Private. Publish Repository. Now we need to go to the web version of GitHub. Open up your folder. Go to Settings. Scroll down and here you have a link to your project. When you click on it, you'll see there's your project. Now, if you wanted to embed that into a website, you can generate an iframe. You can go to, you can search for iframe generators. Paste your website in here. Paste this URL here, and now you have the code that will allow it to be embedded. You know, you'll have a little square on your website. And that is how you get an HTML5 project hosted online for free so your clients, your friends, your family can see your cool work.